Let's go to Canberra now. Joining us live is the Deputy Opposition Leader and the Shadow Industry Minister, Susan Lee. Uh, Susan, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. I will just start off with, the, with our top story this morning. This is the extra Defence Force personnel that's going to be sent into aged care homes. Do, do you have any problem with that? Good morning, Pete. Uh, no, but uh, we need to be careful that we keep track of the number of vaccinations in aged care. Now, the previous government set up the implementation of the ADF in aged care, and that was a good thing, and it remains a good thing. But what I'm concerned about is that the vaccination rates are falling. And I'm hearing anecdotally from aged care centres where residents have not had their fourth booster, and that's not good enough. So where's the government's plan and explanation for exactly how many people have been vaccinated within our aged care system, and when are they going to finally get those fourth boosters, if not already. That's the key and critical issue when it comes to aged care at this point in time. Uh, OK, $1.3 billion in manufacturing projects have stalled pending a labour review into cost effectiveness. What are your concerns about that? Pete, there's alarm be bells ringing across Australia about this because this is a jobs and manufacturing and critical industries issue. Now, I've spoken to manufacturers who have... Uh, within the $1.3 billion modern manufacturing initiative in critical areas such as food security, such as defence, such as vaccinations, not heard from this government about the commitments that were made to them. Now, these are multi-million dollar commitments and these manufacturers have got skin in the game. They're not sitting there waiting for a government grant. They're ready with apprentices, with activities, with investment, some of it from overseas, and they're just not hearing from the industry minister or the prime minister. So we need to know and we need to know soon when these projects are going to be signed off. Right. Uh, they weren't in the caretaker period. They were well before that. And there's a strong expectation that they be delivered. It doesn't necessarily mean the projects are off, though, just that a new government is looking into whether it's worth the expense. Wouldn't you do the same if the roles were reversed? Well, look, these are tried and tested initiatives in areas, like I said, of defence and food security. And no one would argue that coming out of COVID, these jobs are critical. This investment is standing by and ready. And yes, we've heard about a review, but how long is this review going to take? How long is it going to take for this government to get their feet under the desk and actually get on with this? given that manufacturing and skills have been identified by them as a top priority. And, you know, we need to know where these projects are up to and we need the proponents to have the confidence that all of that investment... I mean, they're ready to sign on apprentices, they're ready to build new capital equipment and they can't do it because this government is sitting on its hands and not letting them know what's going on. 